This is amazing. Look at where the kings ended up. I didn't know what the spawn would be like. We have eight kings, eight players from the community all out here to see who will come out on top. And we have a land nomad start, my friends. So uh, welcome in. The kings are going to be the best scouts at the time. But remember, if you lose your king, you are defeated in this game. This is a wonderful mix. We had three people say they've been trying for years to get into a community game and finally got in. Uh, we also have a returning player who I've not seen in a while and I'm excited to talk about in uh, Grim. But uh, let's get the introductions going. We have Ali Oil playing as the Malians in the blue. I think we have seen Ali Oil before because I recall being impressed with the name Ali Oil. So uh, Ali Oil again playing Malians. In the red, we have Deathstroke. Deathstroke said, I have been trying to get in for four years. So it has been over 1,000 days of attempts to get into a community game. And here is Red uh, playing as the Bengalis. In the orange, we have Slavs for Whisk Whisk. In the gray, we have Mongols for Plank. In the purple, we have Grim, who's playing as the Hindustanis. And in the teal, we've got uh, Master Mars. Uh, way in the north, we have Depado playing as the Koreans. And then last but not least, we have Barenthas here in the green playing as the Cumans. A little bit of chatter here at the start. Barenthas says, what's the shortcut for Diplo? Grim says, I don't know, which is a bit surprising. And Barenthas says, someone told me all that for last time. So I guess green doesn't know. Does anyone else know? Isn't it like F7 or something? I actually don't use any hotkeys for menus personally, but you would think that that would be pretty smart after all these years. Um, Red just said all that F4 works. And there's so many, like, wholesome people, wholesome, gullible people in this community that I feel like one of these days someone's actually going to do that. <laughs> and I can laugh because in my early days as a streamer, streaming for, like, 20 viewers, I once did that. It was like, guys, what's the hotkey for this? Without even thinking about it, I alt f forward out of the game. So, all right. So here's the deal. Um, Brenthes is someone who has been around community games a while. Okay, um, and Brenthes is someone who I think was under a different name before, but definitely a player who understands common games. Just not the hotkeys, apparently. Um, and then Grim, who's over here, who also has a very solid sieve, I would say. Grim has won community games before. Grim is one of my moderators, uh, one of the the people I've used on my team for various projects in the past. And uh, he's been around for, I don't know, five years now. And so anytime he's in a game, like anyone who's been around that long and has played as much as he has, I always wonder how many community games have people watched. Now, this is not to say that Grim is a massive backstabber, but, I mean, he's a rather nice gerbil, but it's just that... Uh, he is a talented player, and so he tends to always get into the final three. Sometimes you might have conversations right now, like, hey, this person, we can't trust him, blah, blah, blah. We'll see, right? Um, but I think a theme that I've noticed over the years, uh, particularly the last two years with community games, is uh, some people just don't want to be the first person to die. Uh, you know, some people wake up in the morning and they sit ambitious goals for themselves and then other people they just say you know what i just don't want to completely embarrass myself <laughs> so the amount of times i've seen someone say uh yeah i just really don't want to be the first person to die is very high and so with that in mind i think they will get any they will take any alliance that they can and communication already starting there another thing to, to touch on if you didn't already see it on the screen is that the kings explode so if you kill a king, there will be a bunch of little animations that just show you that a uh, king has been killed. And then there will be an explosion. So you have to be careful where you kill kings, if you kill kings. But for now, I'll actually like open up the floor or the chat or later the YouTube comment section for maybe some questions if you guys had them or wanted to chat or whatever. Uh, T90, uh, right on cue. What's your number one tip to become a pro player? Um play a lot and play with a purpose and when i say a lot you would have to dedicate years so when i say when i mean play with a purpose is a lot of people will play and be like ah i don't know what happened there and then they just go into the next game and they don't like 
They don't try and apply critical thinking to it. They don't watch the recorded game. They don't try and like really find out what went wrong. I think facing your failures is something that is not comfortable at times. So you just got to get comfortable with looking at something and realizing what you did wrong, which I still struggle with that too. Hey, Green, someone is to the southeast of us. And Orange says, I'm here. So Orange signals like, hey, guys, this is where I'm at. Okay. Grim says, I'm I'm uh, behind you. I get lost after Castlage. What eco balance should I generally go for? Very hard to give a general answer there because it... Anyone got any guesses? That's right. It depends. Yeah, it depends. What are you going for? Are you going for knights? Are you booming? Are you going for crossbows? Uh, what's your sieve? It really depends. My, my goal is to have a goal going into Castle Age. Have a goal. Don't go into Castle Age and be like, hey, I think I'll do that. Nah, I think I'll do that. Nah, nah maybe I'll do this. Don't be like that. Have a goal. Whether that's knights uh, or just straight boom, whatever. Just think about it. Hmm. Hi, guys. What's the plan? Orange says fun. Red says amen to that. And green says to win, of course, Red. Okay, so apparently green thinks winning is fun. And orange is like, win? What's that? Okay, so orange maybe lacking confidence, but recognizing this is about the, the ride and the fun, which is good. A little awkward for this villager. She's good. Well played there, blue. T90, I can't watch my replays when I lose. It is just too damn hard. Any alternative to that for improving? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's like saying, T90, learning hotkeys is way too hard. What else can I do? <laughs> like, I feel like you having to watch your own games is important. Because I also think come, something that makes you better as a player is just getting used to losing being kind of a normal thing. Like, my win rate is 54%. 54% is a top 100 player. I lose basically every other game, statistically speaking. So, you know, you, you if you... You kind of got to warm yourself up to the fact that you're not going to win every game. And even if you have a higher win rate than that, it will eventually even out with an ELO system where you're going to be at around 50%. T90, what kind of porpoise... Should you be, when playing community games, the best kind of porpoise? That's what I would say. No counts, by the way, showing where the players are in terms of their strengths. Very close, though. Deathstroke and Grim at 25. Got a couple 22s and 23s out there. Uh, Jim, I casted that game, man. I was streaming it, and I casted the game with the Bombard Towers. That'll be on YouTube. It was glorious. Yeah, there were some epic games. Oh, God, Gray! Again, you have to really think about it if you're orange, if you want to shoot down that king, because then you'll lose everything and have to run away. But still, pretty risky time to be scouting with the kings. <laughs> um, uh, any chance? Oh, sorry. I, where's the message I read and want to read right now? Oh, what happened to you and MBL in Terra Nova Duos? He wanted to drop out, uh, which is a bit of a shame. We had fun, but he wasn't about playing anymore. So we we dropped out, which a lot of teams did in that event, which is kind of unfortunate. But I think there were some, a lot of different things going on and maybe some outside reasons for that as well. But I had fun playing with him when I could. I don't know if I would play with him again because scheduling with him was like an additional full-time job. Um... <laughs> It was, it was a lot of work. <laughs> How do you do the Diplo chat thing, says Gray. And okay, Green says F8. And Grim says trumpet. Yeah, so it is the trumpet symbol. And again, I don't know if it's F8 or F7, but my F7 key is set to muting my Discord. <laughs> I don't use that stuff. But anywho, uh, that is important here, obviously. And look at this. Look at this. Teal hears that. So Master Mars... Didn't have anyone allied. And now declares... Oh, God! Master Mars, what have you done? Oh, oh, my goodness. The fatal mistake, guys. The move that, logically speaking, should be okay, but never ends up being a good play. 
neutral is as good as enemy. In fact, neutral could even be as worse than enemy. Because if you leave someone on enemy, you can at least say, whoops, meant to ally you. Oh, but setting people to neutral when everyone else has allies just says, hey, that person's a standout. That person doesn't love me as much as the others. That normally is something that people end up regretting later. <laughs> but it does make sense. Like, you know, I, I get why neutral's there. It does make sense to say, hey, I'm not exactly like allies with everyone yet. I barely know these people. Like, let's see who wants to be my friend. But I would say just think about it neutrally. Don't actually sh confirm or show them that it is neutral. Uh, what's my take on the new civs? Um, Hindustanis never should have received the changes they received. They, they received way too many things. They're going to have to be nerfed down for sure. Um, that said, Gurjara's pretty, really like the flow of the Civ. I think that Gurjara's will also receive some type of nerf. I think maybe the Shravamsha will. Nothing major. Bengalis, eh. Dravidians, they're all right. But Bengalis are one of the more underwhelming Civs that have been brought to the game. Uh, but they, they might receive something more. Okay, look at this, though. I like these types of conversations. So, hey, yellow, want to be friends? Definitely super stressed right now. Same. Okay, these guys are anxiety buddies. Everyone needs a good anxiety buddy. Okay, so they're both, like, afraid of the world and stressed with the game together. And then you have death strokes. They blue, we stick to the end, right? And sadly for death stroke, there has been no response. <laughs> There's been no response there. Red says, aren't you doing good? We have, yeah, I'm yes. doing fine. Thank, okay, thanks, okay. And now Grim says, only do you, Gray, take care of your king. Now, if I know Gray, based on what I've seen from Gray so far, Gray's really going to appreciate that. And Gray is going to have a lot of trust in Grim. Now, what I mentioned before is Grim is a very trustworthy person. He's also just a very good player, especially when it whittles down to the later stages. To yellow and green, I think us three should work together. That's actually a very good call out here from Teal because they are kind of positioned in a triangle. They're, they're close together-ish. Nice corner yellow. Want to be friends with Teal and me. Okay, so let me get this straight. We have... um, Don't I have a way? I thought I had a different way to show this. There was definitely a way. I think it might be something that's in production here. We don't have it yet. There's a way I can kind of show all the alliances. So, Grim, I think, has gained the trust of Gray. Gray and Orange are definitely buddy-buddy. Um, or who was it? Or was that Gray and Yellow? Oh, God. No, no, no. It was Gray and Yellow. I actually... You know what? Let's just save this conversation for later. They're all kind of friends for now. But Master Mars is yes. stonewalling people out. And has them on neutral. And is in the middle of the map. If I had to place a bet on who would die first in this game, my money would be all over Master. And that's not even due to the 32 villagers, which is slightly lower than others. I mean, it'll be fine, right? Some of the others are still in feudal. What else do we have here? Orange and gray, you only. Up for a bottom map team. Gray says totally... Whisk says, definitely dudes. Grim says, I'm securing corner for trade. Interesting stuff. Um, T90, have you ever experienced watching a recorded game and don't know why you lost? The one or two times I gathered enough strength to watch my wreck when I lost a match, I couldn't figure out why I lost. Um, I mean... <laughs> It, 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 sometimes it's a compilation of a bunch of small things, which makes it tricky. And, you know, in my case, I've I've spent 20,000 plus hours on Age of Empires 2. It's a lot easier for me. I, I, I get that it would be easier for me than others. My suggestion, honestly, Jehu, and no promises you'd actually get responses, but why not ask within the Discord? I would bet that, I mean, if everyone did this all the time, it'd be tough. But if you're like, yo, anyone have some time to see why I lost? I've seen it before in Discord. Why not post it? I bet you there'd be people in the Discord who, you know, would, would be looking for something to do and they, they would be able to help you out there. Um that would that would be my tip for you. 
Mm. Sorry, messed up chat, says Yellow. Ah, I see. So yes, you can see here, the chat was a little disrupted. Hi, neighbor green, says Blue. It's interesting the walls we have. Like, walling in and of themselves is not like a sign that you are against somebody. But I'm just looking at the walls for Teal, and Teal is clearly just scared of the world. <laughs> Whereas over here, I guess these walls also protect Grim. But I guess because he's on the edge of the map, it just looks a whole lot safer, right? All right, what's Orange saying here? What do we got? Lots of chat trying to find it. All right, guys, I just heard that red, blue, and green are creating a team. And me to join. Oh. Ah. Huh. All right, red and purple and gray are together, want me to join. But he said that to red. Okay, I'm still trying to just figure out what's happening here. They want me to join them, but don't worry, I won't. Phyllis says, getting kind of silent here. What's cooking? But I will pretend to gain trust. Silence is violence. Silence is violence, yes. guys. Highest vill count is Grim. 70 villagers. Right behind that was Berenthes. And then you have Plank. Not doing too bad here. Playing as the Mongols. Hmm. I make nice with yellow. He might come in handy. <laughs> and then oh this is guys this is i'm telling you green's a dead man is anyone allied with teal no he put me on neutral me too teal says right now i'm allied with one or two people <laughs> alarm bells should be going off in your head he said this to everyone as well oh i feel so bad for him and now red's like yeah i haven't heard from him all game so the thing is just because he doesn't have them set on ally, they are now questioning his intentions. And I don't think Teal is necessarily planning on killing these people, but Teal set them on neutral, and that's all, that's all that really matters here. And and look at this. I mean, this this is disrupting disrupting the flow of the game already. Look, Green says publicly, Teal is a nice fellow. Whisk says, very much so, but I wish to go further in our relationship. Neutral isn't enough. Now, let's see. If Teal were to ally, let's see what happens. Yeah, notice how Grim has already started to chat up people who are in the corners. Talk to Gray and talk to, to Orange about trade towards the corner. And then he just said to Yellow, hey, what's up? And he wants to, he wants to have Yellow's corner, essentially. Well, guys, people like Master Mars have to learn the hard way so everyone else learns when they get into community games. You just got to set people on ally. It's just a must. You cannot go neutral. Neutral is such a devastating thing for you, especially if you're in the middle of the map. <laughs> because it's not like they need him for trade either. Hmm. Yellow, only to you. How are things over there? Yellow says, kind of lo kinda lonely to be honest. Grim says, I can fix that. We should team. We got two corners. See what I mean? Teaming up with people. Very good player. Definitely some things you got to start thinking about. Pato says, do we want purple in our alliance? And green says no. So Tapato with a big more of a backbone than I expected. And look at Barenthas. He says, highest elo and in a corner. We already have one. And now look at Teal. Teal says, we can ally Orange. So this is good. Master Mars is seemingly in love with or friends with yellow, orange, green. And then I'm, I'm not unsure about down here, right? What's going to be weird is orange and gray are teamed with Grim. But if Grim isn't accepted into the north at all, Grim is going to want to be friends with, like, red and blue. So red and blue are actually going to have to switch sides, I think. But I just hope people understand when they rewatch this that the neutral situation is a dangerous game to play.
unless you're the best player in the game. <laughs> if you're the best player in the game, people come to you and they, they offer gifts of, hey, let's be friends. Ooh, I don't want you to kill me, but I'm going to say I'm going to do these nice things and that you're really nice and that your name's funny. You know, but if you're middle of the pack, you just don't want any unnecessary attention. Also, hello, Sully, a uh, player famous for getting excited and killing someone's king at the start of Land Nomad and then killing himself. Hello, hello, welcome. We were talking about you earlier. First person imp was Plank. Second person to imp is now Barenthus. I think I'm saying that correctly, by the way. And we have the, the Cumans. Well, I would normally expect something like Paladins, maybe some Siege. Potentially some kip checks. We have a very random tower from Tapato. However, Tapato, that's just a very fun name to say, by the way. Can everyone at home just say Tapato? Say it three times. Tapato, Tapato, Tapato. Okay, you're not all saying it, which is really disappointing. But thank you to the people who did. Anyways, I guess he's Koreans. And with Koreans, you have good towers, so you just want to do what you can to secure your base. I love the mental image of someone on, like, public transit right now, like a train or... Or they're, like, at church or something. <laughs> Someone's at church with, like, headphones in the back corner. The Lord Jesus is Tapato. Ever looks What? So, guys, we wait or we go for someone. So, Yellow wants to know if there's a plan here. Now, Yellow's not talking to Teal at all, right? Yeah, just to Gray... Which is very weird, and then to green. Just walking right through the middle. Gray, I assume you go Mangadai, question mark? So he's thinking about unit comp now. And we are going to see Imperial Camel for Grim. I'd be shocked if we see anything other than that for a while. Okay. So we... Three are top score, gray, purple. What do you think? Any allies yet, question mark? Wait. The so green is trying to separate the big boys and have a conversation. That's interesting. It's like the leader's sitting down at the table. You know, it's to have peace talks or something. Master Mars says, I have green, yellow, orange allies. I say we target red and purple. Okay. By the way, something's up with the chat. I gotta talk to Capture Age. Oh, I guess it just doesn't show it right away. Um, Herp for sure. And then orange says, I guess that could work. Yeah, I don't... You can't just go for number one right away in this situation, can you? Very confident. Green and gray. I'm with gray. But perhaps we can make things work. Hmm. So that's bad for green, because green's going to be like, oh, crap. I didn't know that Plank was with, with Grim. Tristan, you're my dad. Uh, I am 99% certain I am not. But uh, I figured I would finally address that comment because you said it like six times today. Go do your homework. Uh, thanks for the heads up, says Red. Okay. Thanks for the warning, Orange. Orange is a snitch, man. Whisk is a snitch. He says, all right, Teal is targeting you guys. Watch out. Huh. Interesting. Orange is the snitch. And we have petards here from Red. And some Wraths is here, so... He might be able to go for a King Snipe, and he might even be tempted to get Orange, to be honest. Green messaged Gray and me. What do you guys say? Do we get him to attack Teal? This is a very common thing these days. No one wants to be the first to attack. We're just building up towards what will eventually be Mayhem. This is really casual does he think the king is in there oh my god the king is in there too oh but orange's gate isn't finished which means red can't get over there easily don't send just the batards red 
It takes five Pitars to take out a town center, so it would actually work. But you don't have the army here. Uh, and one Pitard does not take out a king. <laughs> oh my god! I forgot you can do that! Okay, so he garrisons in Gray's DC. Because they're allies. And so what would happen is if he like runs in here... He clicks him to enemy. The batards will come out immediately, and then he has to click them onto the TC. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Here comes the wrath. Is now they are elite, and Gray I think just has the much better boom and the much better civilization than Red. If this were to actually go into a one v one battle between them. And Grim says green only to you. Yes. Does Gray talk to you? Gray hasn't been very chatty. Yeah, that's not going to be good. But, like, why put the petards in there and then wait? Because eventually Gray's going to say, you know what? I should probably put my king in a, in a castle now. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of chatting from Gray at all. We have a, a massive AI army here for Teal. He's right in the middle of things. Really should try and expand the eco, but just fortified up in the middle. Again, like, it's a natural move at this stage of the game for Gray to say, let's put my king inside castles now instead of the TC. That's a natural move. Yes. And Grim says, you are with yellow, right? And okay, okay this is the moment. This is the moment. This is it. Will he execute? Will Gray notice? The turn has happened. The TC's down. And there's the king. Ah! Does he not have ballistics? Deathstroke. He waited four years for this, guys. He said he's been trying to get into community games for four years. Can he get the king? Can he get it? He gets it. And Gray, you could tell, noticed. Hey, Gray was just about to turn, but the king has gone down. Okay, so we're going to have a massive explosion. Now, here's Mars. Mars is like, doo, 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 doo. I, I'm having a good day. I think I'm going to attack Gray. I think I'm going to do this. I'm really proud of myself. I mustered up the courage to do this. This is awesome. Man, this army was pretty expensive, though, don't you think? Rip. Now, did anyone else go down in that? I don't think so. I think it was just Gray. Amazing snipe from Red. And look at Red. Right after the snipe. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Grim says, well, he's dead. Nice wagons, Red. So Grim lets the world know it was Red, which I think is a wonderful move. Because he's like congratulating him, but also kind of owling him to everybody. And Teal says, any idea who got him? Orange has no clue. Not a disconnect? What? Red is really playing dumb, though. Crap, my army got hit, lol. Nope. No? Okay, so they're playing dumb. That's pretty cool. Okay, so Gray out of the picture now. Remember, he was one of the top three. I feel really bad for Teal, though. <laughs> I feel really bad for Teal. Also, Deathstroke, I think, has, like, hit the point where he's happy regardless of what happens in this game. <laughs> I could be wrong. But, again, he said that he's been waiting four years to get into a community game and finally got in. That's got to make him feel really good that he was able to pull that off. He almost screwed it up. But, uh, okay. Yellow says, teal, green, perp. Let's go allied red, orange, and blue are obviously working together. Yellow trying to make a move. And green says, yellow, we're friends with perp now. And he says, okay, hi, yellow, and green. Okay, so this is, yellow is kind of being forced into this. Do we go for teal? And yellow doesn't want to do this. He's like, no, red, blue, or orange. So remember, yellow likes teal. But because yellow, I think because yellow and teal are kind of on the weaker side compared to the others. Yellow's got to be careful here because there's not a lot stopping green and purple from just saying, you know what? Yes. Yellow's a distraction. Let's just get rid of him and trade with that corner. Yellow says, red did, I guess. Saw a petard. Okay. Now, Grim has just allied Teal, who really needs some friends right now. 
is in the middle of the map, could use friendship from everyone. And now he turns on Teal. Remember, Teal has been sitting here having Grim on neutral this entire time. And is also kind of stuck in the middle. So Grim wants to make a move. That move begins, and uh, Red is going to start to talk to Orange and Blue. And Orange and Blue have been pretty quiet. We haven't seen much from them at all. And they're clearly building up towards something crazy. Anyways, the push begins. Red says, let's start on Teal. Why would Orange and Red want to go after Teal? Well, A, he's still stuck in the middle. B, he started off on neutral. Which is the biggest thing we talked about. Well, guys, not good fighting each other. I am torn. Yes, Yellow does not... Yellow really doesn't want to have to kill Teal right now. But there's a point in these Diplo games, Yellow, where you just have to realize what's good for you and not good for others. And letting go of Teal would probably be good for you. Whisk says, Perp, me and the boy's going to take care of Teal-sized pest at your doorstep. <laughs> and Grim says, thank you. So yeah, Teal is the next target. I love... Does anyone else appreciate Yellow's little, like, moral conflict here? It might not work out because Yellow, unfortunately, is behind an eco and might kind of be at the mercy of some of the others. But the moral conflict of liking Teal and not wanting to kill Teal, I like a lot. Um, I got to take a phone call real quick, chat. One sec. It was one of those calls where I'm like, this might be really important, <laughs> but it wasn't, so we're good. Sorry about that, guys. And I also didn't want to miss anything in the game, so otherwise I would have just kept it playing. Um, okay, so Teal is trying to defend, obviously. Teal really hoping to survive here, is making Imperial Skirmishers and Rats and Archers, does have great upgrades on them, and uh, also making a lot of helps. And if I'm not mistaken, also has full upgrades there as well. Lots of production buildings. So the spam is looking good. And honestly, straight camel is not going to work up against Halb, Rats, and Archer. But that would mean that the Hindustani player would need to make a bit of a switch. Teal, for the time being, is going to survive here. Yellow and green are talking about markets. But then again, remember, guys, there was going to be an attack most likely from uh, Orange. As he's going to come in with Scorpions and Halbs. You know, the early Diplo stuff is so important. In a best case scenario, everyone just kind of looks the same because they've all allied each other. No one stands out. What you don't want to do is you don't want to smack talk anyone. You don't want to give anyone a reason to turn on you in the mid game. And just simply not allying has done that for Teal and being stuck in the middle, which is a double whammy. Desvolt, I'm with you, dude. I don't know what the devs were thinking with the Hindustanis. They, there's there's not much that can really stop this civilization, but for now, the straight camel's a little weak against the halves. And Tapato says, Green, I will fortify your base with a castle if that's fine by you. So asking permission, I like that. Also, mods, we might want to get rid of that one account right now. Green says, it depends where, and there's a signal from yellow, like, hey, can I do this? Meanwhile, Teal, not really getting much help. Teal's not receiving help from anyone and is probably in full survival mode right now. Thank you, mods. Um, Blue also has been uh, less than chatty. Alley Oil hasn't said too much. Probably happy to stay, to be staying out of it. Probably happy to be trading and soaking up as much gold as possible. And uh, we have the armor, the siege elephants now. 
Coming in with these Imperial Camels. Of course, Imperial Camels do get countered by the Halbs. Also, Camels are quite expensive. But the Hindustanis now have a unique unit in the Gulam, which is pretty good against Trash. And then you also have 9 range hand cannons. And Teal says, I'm having trouble with purple. And sadly, one of the players in that message, in that conversation, is now attacking him as well. As Whisk Whisk says, I know. <laughs> he says, I know. Nah, you're good, Luke. I appreciate it. He says, I love the content. have helped me through many overnights at work. Hey, happy to. I was just trolling earlier, too. We're good. No worries. Orange, where is the help? Says Grim. And the help is coming. So Grim is keeping Orange honest. And now we have Yellow here. And I think... I think Teal is just completely scared of the world at the moment. I feel really bad for him. Because he just turned on Yellow. And... Teal just doesn't really have a friend. Like, there's no... There's no big reason to save Teal right now. That's the sad thing. Orange also backstabbed me as, as Green Teal continues to make help. I'm playing really well. Has a lot of army. But watch these heavy scorpions here from the slabs, guys. Watch this. Of course, everything's a little cheaper siege-wise with the slabs, so that's a big reason to make them. And scorpions are not something you see every day. They're very good against this unit comp. And, and Teal says, realizes, I'm going to die. Okay, so if you realize this, you probably should send your king towards somebody. That's the best case scenario, is get your king as close to their base as possible. There is the king! And he somehow, if he were to run, he could make it. And a three-on-one fight, lovely, says Teal. And will Teal actually run? Grim says, I allied you. See, this is, this is, Teal will learn this lesson. And Teal will feel foolish afterwards. Teal loses the king. Now, are, is it correct to say a three-on-one is pretty rough? Yes. But when you're in the middle of the map, or regardless, you could be on the moon while they're all on planet Earth. you got to ally them. It's just the best play. And upon rewatching this, Master Mars is going to be like, well, okay, that wasn't the wisest thing. But boom! The middle is cleared out. Lots of units go down. We have six people remaining. And Red says, purple looks, looks strong. Let's team up on him. Yeah, purple score is very, very high. Yeah, Master, uh, Mars is in chat now. Mars, you're, honestly, your biggest mistake, besides being in the middle, is putting people on neutral. They're all talking about that. <laughs> they're all like, uh, guys, is, did he ally you? And they're like, no, he didn't ally me either. And so what it does is it sets you apart from everyone else. Yeah. And they, you, you being in the middle also made them be like, oh, yeah. Okay, we should kill him. Yeah, so neutral, neutral, like, in and of itself is a good concept, but trust me when I say every single time, which is why I called it out in the beginning of the cast, every single time someone goes neutral, they're the, they're the only one that stands out, and people tend to kill that person first. So that's just something to learn from for the future. <laughs> okay, perp, get some military buildings in front at Green's base. Okay, Orange, only to you. What's the plan now? Orange has snitched many times today and says, yes, Red wants you dead. But... Hmm. There's this weird thing right now where Green and Purple want to be together, which is not normally what happens. Want to join me in Purple? Who is he saying this to? He's saying this to Green, which makes no sense. Wait, 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 wait. No, it does kind of make sense. I get... Yeah, I guess it does. Green says incoming. Yellow says be careful. Sorry, I'm really trying to get a grasp for what direction this game is going. It has definitely been weird in game flow. So we go versus blue and red, question mark. It definitely looks like blue and red are ready to go for purple. And the concern for Grim right now is the lack of, of long distance trade. It kind of looks like he's trading down this way, which would be an issue if he gets attacked from those players. And this is actually really well coordinated from orange, blue, and red. But what's weird is orange is kind of feeding information to green, or, or sorry, to purple. 
Red, move your army. Interesting. Yeah, neutral is just not something you typically see as a good option in Diplogant. Um, yeah, only a good idea if you're Switzerland. Indeed. Okay, so red turns. Grim immediately responds with an attack. And at the moment, th this is the moment of truth for orange. Because both players are going to say, yo, help me here. Sorry, there's a lot of chat that didn't doesn't come in. I've noticed with Capture Age. Orange, don't you dare, says Grim. And now Red says, Orange, help. And Whisk is like, can't we all be friends? <laughs> so here's the thing. If Orange doesn't defend Red, Red will ki could kill Orange because they border each other. And Red says, here goes nothing. And Red is going to make this... Uh, Orange, sorry, is going to make the switch on Red. I immediately looked over here to see if there's going to be anything on the king. And Grim has an ally now. Grim says thank you. And now Grim is going to clearly clean up blue as well. So Whisk, who is bordering red and bordering blue and even trading with them, is choosing to team up with Grim here. And obviously that shakes things up quite a bit. Now what it also does is it is amazing for yellow and is amazing for green because they can do whatever they want. They are not needed at all. But, I mean, the trade is going to go... It, all three of these players, orange, red, and blue, are going to take some big hits here. Don't worry, orange. If I, if need be, retreat to bottom corner, I defend you. And meanwhile, we have yellow turning on blue. So, yellow take making the turn on blue. So, blue is really going to be up against it now. Now, these are Korean Hussars. They're not really that strong, but they still could kill things if there's no resistance. And so far, I don't even think Blue knows. And Blue has just rang the town bell. And this is going to get a whole lot worse. This fight's actually okay. Red is saying help Blue. The fight there's actually okay, but to have the Hussar raid coming in. And of course, Blue doesn't really even know. Like, really hard for Blue to pick up on what's happening at the moment. Have the castle starting to go down. Ally Oil says, no, please spare me. I'm weak. I can be a good ally. I like this. I like this a lot from Blue. Like, some be sometimes you need to recognize I'm bested and try this. Now, it might not work, but someone might have mercy. Also, Blue, it would maybe help to fight back in some way. And, okay, we're going to see the fight back now. Hey, purple, do you gonna, are you going to turn on orange after red and blue, says green? So green and purple still, like, they're not friends now. They're not on the same team now, but they kind of want to be on the same team a few years down the line once free agency hits. <laughs> yellow says, <laughs> yellow says, sorry, bud, I have enough allies to yellow. <laughs> what a thing to say to someone who just wants a friend. <laughs> Blue's like, no, have mercy. Be my friend. No, sorry, I have enough friends. I'm too cool for you, kid. The Grim thinking about it says, I guess that's the best bet. And Green, they're just having a conversation. Green's like, well, you know, Yellow's got a lot of castles. How are we going to do this? Meanwhile, by the way, Red has made some progress against Whisk. And I'm looking at Whisk. He's got 80 army. But he hasn't addressed this yet. And he doesn't really have trade. Like, Whisk, I think, got the short short end of the stick. Like, sticking up for Grim didn't really help him much. It's not like he's trading with Grim either. That was an interesting move. But some people just like to watch the world burn. I wonder if there's a world where yellow starts to... Oh my god, that shot. Oh my god, those siege onagers. Oh, and another big shot. I was just going to say, I wonder if there's a world where yellow starts to feel regret uh, going up against blue here. Because blue has actually done an incredible job. Like, once blue put his put their foot in the gas, the unit queue is insane. Also, I feel like green... Has he killed a unit here? He's killed zero units. So he's diploing, but he's not really helping. 
And there's going to be a point here where someone's around him is going to say, like, bro, are you going to help? And that could be on either side. Like, Grim is fighting. Orange is fighting. Yellow is fighting. Blue is fighting. Not green. Hmm. Like, right now, I would be concerned if I were uh, yellow. Because I'm starting to lose my castles and my towers. And I would say, hey, where's your help? What are you doing? And then yellow might go over to Grim and say, hey, like, this guy isn't helping me at all. It's like green at this point has no interest. And this would be the same with Grim. They have no interest in keeping yellow involved in the long term. They're just trying to spin this diplomatically so they end up being the final two. They're trying desperately to find Red's King, by the way. It is in this castle. They were very close. You can see all the alerts that came in. Green, I think, knows where it is, though. Green is still allied with Red. Which, again, is really funny. He's going to think it's this TC, maybe, and finally turn? Hmm. Yeah, he thinks it's the town center. I think it was before, but it no longer is or something. The green finally gets some action in here to snipe the kings. Now, imagine if he snipes his king and it ends up going into blue's base. That would take care of him. Purple, there's no reason for us to be enemies, says blue. Okay, red's making a move. Does red see the writing on the wall? Does red realize? Does red realize that he's going to die anyways? And is he going to commit suicide to get revenge on Whisk Whisk? Yellow's angry. He says, green, turn on blue. Yellow is rightfully calling green out for not turning on blue. And guys, the king is here for red, and he just deletes it. Now, let's see what happens here for orange, because we have this animation for a reason, but it doesn't give you a ton of time. And his king is on the move. He just noticed his king is on the move. He did realize that. Will it get out of here in time? It will. It should, anyways. Obviously, a ton of stuff goes down, though. And boom. Oh, man. I think everyone should smile and salute for Deathstroke. Deathstroke had that amazing snipe against Gray. Got the short end of the stick in terms of the diplomacy, sadly, but got revenge. And Whisk Whisk just says, woo. Oh, God, I would laugh, though, if Grim kills him here. Because it's not even close to your base, Grim. It's not even close to your base. He's following it. <laughs> and he says, green, our deal. Because, by the way, blue is, like, all running in and, and mainly attacking yellow. Yeah, orange for yellow after red and blue. So, green is, like, trying to plan this out right now. I would be so upset if I was yellow. And Grim doesn't care, obviously. Uh, Orange says, I'm just running, perp. And he says, don't worry, green wants you dead. So he's painting green as the enemy. And I think this is a really important moment of the game. This right here, I want you to remember this, okay? So, so blue says, green, no! As green's gonna go in and try and kill this king. But guys, I think Grim is not quite as swift when it comes to killing allies. I think he recognizes he needs somebody here. If he were to just take the easy kill against Orange, obviously it'd be entertaining, and woohoo, he got a kill. But now he has someone that he can... like he, he has had someone that he can trust, and he's going to use them. And Blue goes down. Sad times for Blue. A couple heartbreakers in this one, to be honest. As they have to clear out of here before the explosion happens. Blue out of the game, teal out of the game, gray out of the game, red out of the game. We have four remaining. But again, I think for Grim, having Orange alive to be able to trade with somebody, have someone to help is such a big deal. And there's the explosion. Poof. Now, Green has been Camper McCamperson this whole game. Let's look at his stockpiles here. He's got 60,000 wood, 23,000 food. Doesn't have that much gold. Whisk Whisk does, though. Whisk Whisk has a ton of gold. Forgot about the king, XD. <laughs> Grim even gives the F to pay respects. 
Okay, so from what I've gathered, Grim has been talking to every single person that is in this game. He's the only one that can say that. He has talked to every single person. He talked to Green about how they're top. And look, Grim, Green says what happens next? Grim takes initiative. And he says, only to you, Green, do we start the deal. Now, I don't really remember what the deal was at this point. Was that to clear out yellow, possibly? And let's see what he says here. Moment of truth. He says, do you know where Orange's king is? And Grim says, yes. Orange isn't super valuable to Grim right now in terms of military. He says, got an army on it. So maybe what I was saying was completely wrong. Green says, I snipe him, you snipe yellow, or reverse? Well, no, reverse would make the most sense. And Grim says, you enemy yellow first. Now, I'm curious if Grim will say something to Orange here and say, hey, listen, Green wants you dead. You're my buddy. Or if we'll just kill him. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Green says to yellow, I'm about to enemy you. So Grim will kill Orange. Don't worry. Getting in position. Uh, wait, if he can get Grim to kill his only ally, which he's about to do. No way. No way. Okay, so I bet you Green is looking over here. Yellow's like, what? You're gonna what? Okay, now Whisk Whisk could also survive here, which kind of ruins Green's plan. Uh, it's very possible this king will not eject here. We have Siege Onagers and we have Halbs. Okay, Whisk Whisk obviously turns. And a failed attempt from Grim. He was just a little late here. Grim will not get this king. But what does this do to Green's plan? Because Green hasn't attacked yet, so Grim's gonna be like, yo, what's up? The plot thickens. The plot thickens indeed. Uh, Garrison of Hill and Castle. Yellow is just not really getting it. He's like, wait, what? I don't... I don't understand. And now this would be where Grim... Okay, he is still going to come in with a lot of stuff. And, and look at Grim. Grim says, I don't appreciate traitors, Green. Which is rather ironic. Because he is a traitor to Orange. <laughs> The irony, though. Um, but, I mean, I get what he's saying here. Green says, I'm looking for the flag. Got it. And Yellow still just... I don't think Yellow gets it yet. <laughs> I think Yellow will rewatch this and be like, oh, okay. And he says, oh, you're already fighting? And Grim says, yes. And Green laughs. Oh, Green's doing such a great job at playing dumb. Oh, man. See, when I'm dumb, I don't need to play because I'm just... Inherently dumb. This is who I am. But this is... Oh, this is pretend stupidity. I like it. But you have to know Grimm's looking. Every time he gets a chance, he's looking over there. And still nothing's happening. He says, no need for me to turn then. Smiley face. Okay, so he just basically says, Aha. My plan worked. And he lets Grimm know in a creative way. And he says, well, yellow, let's go for purple. Oh, I love that. And now, now, orange says, hey, you guys want to help me, please? And so it's going to be a 3v1 versus Grim, who is top scorer at the moment. And now how does Grim get himself out of this one? This is a real pickle, man. And he's got, he's got no gold. He's got no gold. This will be really complicated. Now, there is a twist that I would like to see. This might be released in the alternate endings after the movie finishes. Um, or the extended version, you know? Um, but I'll tell you this. It would be so funny to me. and so satisfying. If yellow were to go right to green's king right now. Oh my god. Like, I would... I honestly think we would stop community games forever. Because we would never be able to live up to that moment. Yellow saying, whatever you, what did he say? Whatever you say, winky face, and then just walking right over here and killing this king. Because remember, green wasn't really helping yellow before. Would be so epic. I don't think we're going to see that, though. But what I do think is that Whisk Whisk is a deserved top score. See, John Hunter and Halb, I don't know how after he lost his eco he can afford this. But he had the gold, remember. 
And this is a crazy mass. Good job from Grim to survive. And I think his plan... His plan wasn't bad. But Green kind of saw through it a little bit. And here comes the Korean death ball. I mean, Grim just can't fight this on his own. Grim will need to... He talked his way into this situation. He needs to have to talk his way out. There's no way he can fight his way out. I wouldn't say Grim was pushy. I think what Grim did there works 90% of the time, unless you have a player who's also trying to spin a web of lies. Grim thought I'm being the the I'm being the person who is being sneaky with Diplo here, and Green had something to say about it. Okay, so he says yellow go to purple, and yellow's like, yeah, I am, basically. But I think there's got to be a little bit of hesitancy from Green, because he doesn't want to move out if yellow isn't moving out, and yellow is. And Grim obviously turns on yellow, and yellow, I think, will struggle a little bit with execution. Doesn't have Trebs here. You know, we might see a lot of Siege Onagers and Halbs get killed by the Siege Onagers here. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's going to sue us. He's going to kill all of his own stuff. <laughs> So again, the execution might not be perfect here. <laughs> but it is still something. And then Whisk Whisk, alongside Barenthus here, do, doing a fantastic job. I mean, look at the top three army. There's four players left, and Grim is not in the top three of the army. So he's like six to one, seven to one. And he doesn't have consistent gold income either. I think there's a world where Whisk Whisk would forgive Grim here. If he were to try. I really think that that could happen. But he would have to say something. And he would have to say it soon. And it might even be too late. But to say, like, listen, we need trade. Like, we need trade. And they're trading together. They also are right next to each other. And even if you don't like me... There's no way that you are going to be able to kill them on your own. I, I think that that would be what, along the lines of what I'd be saying right now. Orange Siege for Purple Castle question. Getting to it is Orange. And then Yellow is on it. Yellow is just living the dream. Yellow, look at all the smileys. Like, Yellow is loving this. Like, let's go, baby. Destroying the enemy. Let's go. But guys, how long can green be in charge? I I don't know. Like, let's look at the stockpiles. The stockpiles aren't insane. I No one has an insane stockpile. I really... Again, I feel like... Grim's best tool here... Is... Is his chat. He's got to try. Look at red. Says, oh, look, traitors duking it out. Okay, to be fair, though, Red, you did kill Gray. <laughs> I wish Plank would show up in chat right now. Because <laughs> you did backstab Gray. So, I mean, you can't really act like... You can't really act like uh, you weren't a traitor either. Purple's king is left. And Grim says, orange you only. I got a king. I can make you win. Ooh. But I can also kill you. Ooh. I like it. And now look at look at Orange immediately run. Orange is like, uh, let's get into the next castle. <laughs> so he hasn't responded. He says, then kill me. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. He's like, bring it. And he says, what, my old friend, do you offer me for victory? Question mark. Which I think he was typing out. And, oh, wait a second. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Green and yellow heard the then kill me. And now he's confused. He says, to whom are you talking? Now, I want to say, amazing. Good on Orange for saying that and having a backbone. But also good on Grim for saying in the first place because, like, in order for Orange to have a response like that, you need a statement from Grim. So that this is just good overall Diplo. Yellow says my guess is purple. And I guess I think Grim at this point is like, well, I'm screwed. Let me try. And you know, he wanted to 
do something that would help him in the end. Uh, realized it wasn't going to work. And now he's out. And I don't know if, if Yellow sees this, but this won't actually be the end of the world for any player. <laughs> he's running with his king, though. <laughs> Orange is really scared. He's like, where did that happen? And I think Green spotted it. You can look around and look for the icons, which is why we did that. And okay, obviously does hurt a little bit, but nothing crazy. But again, what I think is yellow will be loyal to green. Orange will be on his own. It'll be fascinating to see if orange can do it on his own. Looking at his stockpile, he does have 14k gold. And he has played a very good game. And he says, all oh, GG, well played purple. So I think maybe he was like... I don't know. I don't know why, why he's saying all exactly, but... Now he says green question mark because he sees green is here. And green showing up at the right time. A whisk whisk. He knows exactly what's going on. And he says, what? Green says, what do we do now? And he's like, hey, what are you attacking me for? This is a perfectly uh, harmless army that was just waltzing through your base. It was merely a training exercise. Didn't you see it on the schedule? Yellow says, oh, I know what we're going to do next. We're going to go after orange. And green says, yes. And, oh, this is even... He spun this so well. He says, he turned on me. And Yellow's going to be like, how dare he turn on my lovely ally? When in reality, Green was the one who started it. But, you know, at the end of the day, regardless of how it starts, it says, we started together, we will end up together. It makes sense. And, man, good games today, man. Really good Diplo. Uh, Well played to Grim. Very good Diplo today. This has been an awesome game. But guys, I don't think there is a reason for yellow or green to turn on each other while, Wh while Whisk Whisk is still alive. And if that is the case, and Whisk Whisk can make enough siege and make enough halves, this might be a very long game. We might be like an hour away from the finish. The fortifications aren't perfect. The eco isn't perfect for Whisk Whisk, but he does still have the potential to trade. Uh, and he still has like 15k gold. And you remember Yellow's production buildings are on the other side of the map, which will take some time. And we have a signal from Yellow. I guess that was treason by Yellow to find out exactly where the king is. But I don't see Whisk Whisk making the mistake of losing that king to a paladin ring. Good attempt from, from Whisk Whisk. He says, Yellow, do you wish to join me? Very good attempt. He says, guess not. No. <laughs> he did actually ally him first, and Yellow says no. And uh, that might be a little confusing for Green. Green has definitely been on edge every time there's a message he doesn't understand exactly. The orange is slabs, and slab halberdiers are very strong, and their siege is also cheap. It's just that whole comp is super slow. Let me look at the stockpiles again. Okay, so there is trade for green and for yellow, whereas there is no trade for orange, so I guess it, in theory it's just a matter of time until the resources run off for Whisk Whisk. <clears throat> I mean, Bengalis against Slavs, Kumans, and Hindustanis is not fair. Yeah, they had some good sips. I think Bengalis... Can be really strong if it gets to their elephants though like if they get to full trade but whisk whisk the reason whisk whisk is struggling now is because he trusted grim and so while he did a good job to get the better of grim he could have had red and blue as allies and he's probably regretting not having that at the moment but obviously a lot of things have gone down so we'll see <laughs> Is yellow trading with blue? Yeah, yellow is trading with blue. And so anyone who is allied, who is alive and allied with blue at the moment could delete that market. All right, well, what you should make if you're yellow is forward production buildings. Uh, get forward production buildings. Ooh, actually big raid here. Very big raid. 
And this is not something that Orange has, has realized yet. I guess Orange has his eco in so many different spots. Yeah, you see how Orange has all these production buildings? Yellow needs to have his own production building somewhere. Somewhere beyond here. I guess what they could do is just clear this first. Yeah, and that's what he's going to work on. Slowly move in with the Bomber Cannons, take out all the buildings. King for Orange on the move. But yeah, Orange has lost a lot of ills. Having 150 military is actually a bad thing here for longevity because it means you have less than 50 villagers. That's a big army, though. Freeing up that pop space means that this death ball could be what it takes to push out across the map. And I don't see green losing, though. I mean, green's got so many castles. Same with yellow. Yellow's done a great job. <gasps> there... Oh, my God. Okay, so yellow is, like, thinking, oh, my goodness, what have I ever done? To have an ally that th that is this kind and this trustworthy. I will stand by yellow to the end. It is us two till the end. I don't think yellow has any clue. Imagine the smiley face right now. Oh yeah, living life. You know, bomb more cannons with Koreans. Oh man, it's never had, never had a happier day. Oh my goodness. They're just waiting for the moment, but I don't know when that moment will be. The king is around here for uh, for orange, but it's not like they're going to kill it. I, I don't know if I agree with this decision, by the way, because if you take care of yellow, you're then fighting a 1v1 against Whisk Whisk. And if yellow sees this, it could be a 2v1 against you. So you either need to get back to your base and hide that army, or you need to commit now this, this might not be a great call. Does yellow see this, though? Notice how yellow hasn't said anything. Maybe yellow sees this. Green says, all right, need your bombard cannons. <laughs> and here comes yellow to go serve him. <laughs> Oh my god, on my way, says Yellow. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Yeah, if Yellow notices, he needs to run. Because it's likely that Green's, you know, waiting for whatever. You need to run. Also, you probably shouldn't be in a TC at this stage. Great clear up from Green. I'm telling you, sitting here is a mistake. Sitting, like, if you're going to go here, you need to kill it. And there goes the king. Okay, let's see what happens. The king is on the move. That king will make it to the castle. And now, yellow is either going to have to call green out, which eh, is an idea. Or you go, yellow will go over to orange and say, hey, he was about to snipe me. What do you think about a team? Let's see what he does. I'm sure his heart was beating a mile a minute there. Now... A special thing you could do if you're yellow is you could put one villager in that TC right after you and Garrison the King so he still thinks the King is there. And Green is just still like talking as if this is normal stuff. He's like, let's do this. And let's do that and let's work together. Now guys, yellow just researched treason. But he already knew the King was here. So I'm guessing he might have researched treason thinking it shows where your allies' kings are, which it doesn't. Which is silly, because that's like the true definition of treason, is like you turn on your allies, but whatever. Um, I think, much like Whisk Whisk had a backbone earlier when Grim was asking, hey, do you want to work with me? I think Yellow needs to have a backbone right now and say, and call the orange and say, listen, this guy's about to turn on me, let's work together. I, maybe that's not the play. But that's probably what I would do. Because I think I would just be so offended that he was about to kill me. Green's troops are still there. Yellow hasn't asked about it at all. And here he comes with the push. You see lots of bomber cannons. We've got the kip checks as well from Green. They're taking pretty good fights against Whisk Whisk. Who is now losing all of his halberdiers to the castles from Grim. Tons of kills on those castles. And this push continues. Now, if you're ever wondering why isn't someone saying something, why is there no chatter, 
you have to remember that this game is not easy to play. And there we have Treason researched. And okay. Whisk Whisk, what's his stockpile looking like? Well, I, th I think he realizes he can't do it on his own or something, but he still has lots of resources. He's clearly sending his king to go on some type of mission to kill Green. I guess, like, he has to look at how much work he would have to do to win this, and he might just think it's impossible. Obviously, very risky to do this without even a scout in front to know if you're going to run into anything. <laughs> I mean, he's actually making progress as well, which is kind of the funny thing. The death strokes buildings threatening the king according to Capture Age. Hmm. Here we go. Whisk Whisk is moving. Moving along. Also, I swear to God, Whisk Whisk, if you just showed up in my chat because we're minutes behind and spoiled something, I'm going to have to, like, actually start banning people from community games for spoiling things but now i'm intrigued here comes the king now green is close enough where if you were to have a detonation around here it would do it um but i just see it dying too far away and whisk whisk is out of the game now now I don't think that's close enough. I don't think that's close enough. And now we have green going after yellow immediately after that. Great reaction from green. He says, I got to be first to switching. He makes the switch. And yellow's losing eco. Explosion happens. It doesn't have the effect that Whisk Whisk wanted. And so when Whisk Whisk said it worked, I won. <laughs> I think he was trolling us <laughs> because clearly he's dead. <laughs> but yeah, guys, please. That, that's been a theme the last like week or two we've done this. It's really, really bad. It's really, really bad. If you're in the game, you have to please have to wait. That was quick. You sniped him, says Green. And Yellow says, saw you before. So there's some mutual respect here. Um... And they're still a little uncertain on how it happened, but I think Green probably looked at the right of the base and was like, oh, okay. Uh, total stockpiles are pretty bad in terms of gold right now for, for Barenthus, but pretty bad in terms of food and in terms of wood, especially for Topata. So. And I think based on the raid right here alone, this is most likely GG for Yellow. Yellow's at 30 army. And yellow says, drag us one out, question mark. And green says, we're not King Arena. Honestly, I don't even think you need that. I think yellow is five minutes away from death. If green were to just make siege, I think yellow's dead here. And I think yellow recognizes that as well. Yellow says, not needed. And I think yellow will maybe eject the king here. Caps Rage is kind of freaking out at the moment. <laughs> Between two and separate alerts. The yellow says I'm fine with second place and taps out and calls the GG. Wow, interesting one. Wow, okay, so the play, the Diplo play of this game was green making that deal way ahead of time with Grimm. And that plan, remember, was for them to backstab their allies, right? So it was like, you know, we're going to we're going to work with this person for a while and then when the time is right, we're both going to kill our significant other and marry each other. This is like an episode of like some weird old forensic files or something. So, anywho, Grim makes the Grim turns and there was two options. So, Grim turns and if he kills the king, it's amazing for Brenthus because then the other guy's dead. But in that case, Grim didn't kill the king, which I'm sure he's frustrated with. If he would have had the king, it would have been much better for him. And then still, it's a 2v1 versus Grim. So Green never intended on really following through with that. Now, where the question marks come in in my mind a little bit is where was the, the long-term plan for 
Well, I guess Yellow wanted to get second place, right? <laughs> I, okay, I answered my own question. I was going to say, what was the long-term plan for Yellow? Well, Yellow wanted to work with Green, but what was still surprising to me is that Yellow clearly saw that Green was planning on sniping him and just didn't seem to care anyways. I guess in the end, he would have been second if that would have happened. But Wow, that was, that was interesting. I feel quite bad for Teal, but I think, uh, Mars, if you're out there, you, you probably will rewatch and learn the lesson never to go neutral. Plank perhaps got punished a little bit just for not chatting as much. And also, I think because Deathstroke was so antsy, Deathstroke has been wanting to play in community games for so many years, finally got into a game, and Deathstroke was like, oh, man, I just got to kill somebody. <laughs> oh, God, I got to snipe somebody. I need a freaking highlight, right? I need a highlight. Let's snipe somebody. And so the sad thing for him was he, he snipes Gray... And then Orange turns on him. <laughs> and so then he's like, where's my team? <laughs> Why, what, a, what a bully. But if you think about it, Red, you also did kill Gray, who could have been helpful in times of hardship. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Um, anyways, I thought it was still a really good game. Had some cool explosions there. Uh, econo economically speaking, excuse me, we have over 1,000 kills. That's not economy, but whatever. Uh, over 1,000 kills for Grim. And now, economically speaking, Green had the better economy that game. Something that was undervalued in this game overall was probably trade. Um, you know, I know that you're seeing trade for some of the players that were there near the very end, but the two goose eggs here, uh, the very low trade amount here, I mean, some of that might be attributed to when they died. But usually you see a bit more in the way of trade for Land Nomad, so... Uh, but a good game overall. I think Land Nomad is pretty good for this. It was a solid map gen. Random Civs always shakes it up as well. And uh, GG.